On October 20th, 2020, NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft collected a sample from asteroid Bennu. Navigation. Navigation. Go for tag. Program manager. Program manager is go for tag. All stations, this is OREX systems on OREX cord. I copy all subsystems or go for tag. Position uncertainty is 0 0.5 meters. Predicted tag lateral offset is 1.7 meters. Hazard probability is 0%. OSIRIS REx's sampling mechanism penetrated Bennu's regolith and fired its nitrogen gas bottle to stir up sample material for collection in the tag sam head. At 6.08 p.m. Eastern, the team on Earth received confirmation of a successful touchdown. OREX has descended below the five meter mark. The hazard map is go for tag. And we have touchdown! <laughs> After spending approximately six seconds at the surface, Osiris Rex fired its thrusters and backed away from sample site Nightingale. Images taken a few days later by the SAMCAM camera showed rocks and dust escaping the sampler head. The team believed it collected a sufficient sample and decided to seal the TAXAM to preserve the remaining material. The spacecraft made one more flyover of Bennu and saw just how big a mark it left on the asteroid surface. The TAG event sent boulders flying across Nightingale's surface. OSIRIS-REx completed its last flyover of Bennu at around 6 a.m. Eastern on April 7, 2021, and slowly began drifting away from the asteroid. On May 10, 2021, OSIRIS-REx fired its thrusters and began its two-year cruise back home to Earth. As OSIRIS-REx approaches Earth, it will jettison the sample return capsule that contains pieces from asteroid Bennu. The SRC will then travel through Earth's atmosphere and land under parachutes at the Utah Test and Training Range on September 24, 2023. Once recovered, the capsule will be transported to the curation facility at NASA's Johnson Space Center, where the sample will be removed for distribution to laboratories worldwide, enabling scientists to study the formation of our solar system and Earth as a habitable planet.